Yo, what's up, everybody? You know, uh, let's just do this thing. Let's get it right going right now. Let's just get it going. Yo. All right, here it is. All right, so Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits. Elijah, son of man, book Enoch review. Yahshua was saying yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. There's the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. But in the book Enoch, there's three that are spoken of specifically. The head of days, the Lord of Spirits, and the Son of Man. Well, in Enoch 48, 2, it mentions all three, saying the Son of Man was named in the presence of the Lord of Spirits and before the head of days. Before we see all three shown, I will show that Yahshua is not the Son of Man, but he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the Lord of Spirits. Let's do this thing. All right, number one, the name. Enoch 47 says, The blood of the righteous will finally be required and heard before the Lord of Spirits. And it says also in in the book of Luke, the Yahshua said the blood of Abel and all the prophets comes on this last generation. Well, Leo, chapter 48 goes on to say, at that hour, in the name of the Lord of Spirits, they are safe. In the name of the Lord of Spirits. In the last days, what is the name? The New Testament says is the name above all names, Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. What is the only name given among men by which we must be saved? Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Whom God raised from the dead. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men which, by which we must be saved. It's Yahshua, the only name, the name above all names. Chapter 48, 7 says, in the name of the Lord of Spirits, they are saved. Who is the Lord of Spirits? Yahshua. There's no other name. There's no other person. Yahshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the Lord of Spirits. Moving on. Chapter 48, 7 says also, in the name of the Lord of Spirits, they hate their lives in this world and the unrighteousness. Who is the one that said to hate their lives in this world and keep it unto life eternal? Yahshua said that. In the name of the Lord of Spirits, they hate their lives in this world as well, 48.7 says. Who's the name by which they're hating this world? Yahshua is the one that said that. Yahshua is the name above all names by which they're saved. Who said to hate your life in this world? Chapter 48.7. Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits. Moving on, it says also in chapter 50, verse 3, through the name of the Lord of Spirits, they are saved as well. What's the only name given among men by which you must be saved? Acts 4, 12, it's Yahshua. Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits. He is not the Son of Man. He's the Lord of Spirits. Moving on, let's go to, chat. Let's go to number two, titles. The many titles given to the Lord of Spirits in the book Enoch. The same titles that are given to Yahshua in the New Testament. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's do it. Come on. In Enoch 63, 2, it says, They shall bless the Lord of Spirit, saying, The Lord of Glory. Who does the New Testament call the Lord of Glory? 1 Corinthians 2, 8 says, Yahshua is the Lord of Glory. Whom you crucify? That's Yahshua, the Lord of Spirit's is the Lord of glory. Yahshua is the Lord of spirits. Moving on. Who does the New Testament say is King of Kings? Revelation 19, verses 13 and 16 says, Yahshua is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Yahshua is the Lord of spirits. 63, 4, the Lord of spirits is the King of Kings. Yahshua is the Lord of spirits. Moving on. The Most High. It says in Enoch chapter 9, verse 3 and 4, bring our cars before the Most, most High. 
Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Who's the most high? The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Yahshu is the most high. The Lord of Lords, King of Kings. In Revelation 19, 13, 16, it says Yahshu is not only Lord of Lords, but he's King of Kings. Moving on. Who does the book of Enoch specifically say is the most high? Chapter 10, verse 1 says, the, Then said the most high, the holy and great one. Yahshu in the Old and New Testaments called the holy one. Who is the holy and great one in the book of Enoch says? Enoch 25, 1 says, The holy and great one is the Lord of glory. Bingo. The eternal, the eternal king. Yahshua is the most high. Lord of Lords, King of Kings, nine, three, and four. Yahshu is the Holy Great One, who is the Lord of Glory. Yahshu is the Lord of Glory, the Lord of Spirits. So far, people, we got the Lord of Spirits, the Lord of Glory, the Most High. The Holy Great One. Titles given to Yahshua in the book of Enoch. Yahshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the Holy Great One. The Lord of Glory. The Lord of Spirits. The Most High. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Continuing. Back in chapter 63, after it calls the Lord of Spirits, the Lord of Glory in verse 2. Verse 7 goes on to call the Lord of Spirits our Lord. Who does every verse in the New Testament say is our Lord? Romans 1, 3, concerning his, concerning his son, Yahshua, our Lord. Colossians 1, 3, so we give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord, Yahshua, Messiah. Everywhere, every single verse in the New Testament, our Lord is Yahshua. In the book of Enoch, 63, verse 7, it calls the Lord of Spirits also our Lord. The Lord of Spirits is the Lord of glory, King of kings, Lord of lords, and our Lord. Who is the Lord of Spirits? It's the name above all names. It's the name by which they are saved in the book of Enoch. Who is the Lord of Spirits? Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits. Period. Moving on. Every single verse in the New Testament calls our Lord Yahshua. In the book of Enoch 63, 2 and 7, it says the Lord of Spirits, the Lord of glory is our Lord. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's do it. Let's keep going. It goes on in 63a and calls the Lord of Spirits our Lord again. Now, who does the book of Enoch specifically say is our Lord? Enoch 22, 14 says, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of glory. Whom you crucified, 1 Corinthians 2, 8. The Lord of glory is Yahshua. He's our Lord. 63 verse 7 says, that's right. The Lord of glory, the Lord of spirits is Yahshua. Now, people, are you paying attention out there? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Chapter 48, verse 10, it says, They shall fall, not rise again, for they deny the Lord of spirits and his anointed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yahshua is not the prophesied son of man to come on earth. Yahshua is the Lord of spirits. And Yahshua, the same yesterday, today, forever, has an anointed, has a Messiah. The prophesied Messiah of Yahshua is the prophesied Son of Man to come. Oh, yeah. In the last days, Yahshua has anointed a Messiah called the Son of Man. And it comes through the church, Revelation 12, an anointed Messiah, son of man. It's a child, and it comes out of the wife. It's a man-child. Moving on. 
But before the Son of Man in the book of Enoch is revealed, I will prove one more that Yahshua, the creator of all things, again, is clearly the Lord of Spirits who has an anointed. Let, let's just keep moving on. We got Yahshua is the name. We got his titles. Now I want to show his titles in the book of Enoch are the creator of heaven and earth and man let's just keep flowing because you know yahshua is the word that made everything let's show these titles number three yahshua is the titles the lord of spirits the most high the lord of glory the holy great one the same yesterday today forever who does enoch say is the creator of the heavens and earth and men upon it number one the most high chapter nine verses three and four goes on to say of the most high the lord of lords King of Kings, in verse 5, thou has made all things. Bingo. The Most High has made all things. He's the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He's Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, who has a Messiah, who has an anointed, the Son of Man, the elect one, the righteous one, the one prophesied and that's hidden. Hallelujah. You know, sir. Let's do this thing. Moving on. 101. Chapter 101, verses 1, 6, and 9 says of the Most High. In verse 8, he made the heaven and the earth and all that is therein. The Most High is Yahshua. The Most High, who is also the Lord of Spirits, has an anointed. It says the Most High made all things and made heaven and earth and all that is therein. Who does the New Testament say made everything? John 1. Says a Yahshua, the word, all things were made by him. Psalms 33, 6 says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Yahshua is the word. First John 1, 1, the word manifest. Yahshua made everything. He is the word. He is creator of all things. He is the Lord of spirits, the most high. Hallelujah. Let's do this thing. Let's just keep going, man. Continuing. Number two, the Lord of glory says, uh, chapter 36, verse 4 says, the Lord of glory. They bless all his work and all his creation. That's Yahshua, the creator of all things. Yahshua. Continuing. And the Holy Great One. Number three, 84 1 says of the Holy Great One. In verse two, he's Lord of the whole creation and King of Kings. Verse 3 says, Thou hast made and rulest all things. Yahshua is the Holy Great One who is Lord of all creation. King of kings, thou hast made and rulest all things. The Word of God made everything. Yahshua is the Holy Great One, the Lord of glory. In the book of Enoch, the Most High, number one, and also the Lord of Spirits. Number four says in chapter 61 verse 13 says all his work and all his creation of the lord of spirits says all his work and all his creation yahshua is the lord of spirits who created everything and chapter 48 verse 10 says has a messiah Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits who created everything. Says also in chapter 60, verse 8, the Lord of Spirits created man. Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits who created everything and created man. Yahshua, the Word of God, is the Lord of Spirits who made all creation and man upon it. Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, at first, Messiah God in the seed of David, 2,000 years ago, the root of David, also has a Messiah in the last days. The Lord of Spirits has a Messiah. Yahshua is not the prophesied son of man to come. We will find out who is the first. Let's show in the Bible which Enoch was left out of the Bible, but it was also spoken of in the Bible, in the book of Jude. Let's find out in the Old Testament and New Testament who is the creator and show 
It's the same person. Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits. In Genesis 2, verse 4 and 7, it says, The Lord God made the heavens and the earth, and also man upon it. Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, the Most High, the Lord of Glory, the Holy Great One, is the Lord God. Yahshua made everything. Yahshua is the Lord God that made the heavens and the earth and man upon it. Chapter 60 in Enoch says, the Lord of spirits made man upon it. Chapter 61, 13, all his work and all his creation created man. The Lord of spirits is the Lord God. It's Yahshua and the Lord God, Yahshua, has a Messiah. Chapter 48, 10. Yahshua in the book of Enoch clearly is not the prophesied Messiah. Son of man, elect one, righteous one to come. Yahshua is the Lord of spirits who has a messiah the son of man to come who is this son of man in the book of revelation 22 6 says the lord god of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done who is the lord god of the holy prophets who sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass 22 16 says i yashua have sent mine angel to sanctify, testify these things. Yahshua is the Lord God of the holy prophets. Yahshua is the Lord God. Yahshua says he is. He sent his angel. 22.16. Revelation 1.1 1, 1 says the revelation of Yahshua. God gave unto him to show in his service things as much holy be done come to pass. He sent signified to his angel the things which must shortly come to pass 22 6 the lord god of the prophet said his angel show his service the things which must surely be done yahshua is that one the lord god of the holy prophets yahshua yes is the lord god that made the heavens and the earth and also man upon it yahshua is the Lord of Spirits, the Creator. Period. Moving on. Yahshua is the Word of God, the Lord God of Genesis 2, two verses 4 and 7, who made heavens and earth, man upon it. Now, who is the Son of Man? Yahshua is the Lord of Spirits. Who's the Son of Man? Revelation 22 also says, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give a man as worth shall be. It says, I come quickly. Revelation 6, 16, 15 says, I come as a thief. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I come quickly as a thief that steal, kill, and destroy. Isaiah 40, 10 says, the Lord God, who's the Lord God? Yahshua shall come with what? Strong hand, quickly, steal, kill, and destroy. And what? His arm shall rule for him. Yahshua, the Lord God, has an arm that shall rule for him, a Messiah. Yes, there is an arm of the Lord, Isaiah chapter 51. Not only is it an arm, but it's an actual person. He's called a he. He's a man. Hallelujah. And the arm of the Lord, Isaiah 51, makes the highway in the wilderness for the people to return to Jerusalem. Does that sound familiar? Isaiah 51 says the arm of the Lord is his messenger, Elijah, the Messiah, son of man. Let's do this. Let's just forget before we go there. Let's just move. Keep going. Yahshua comes with strong hand, quickly as a thief destroyed. And it says he has an arm, a Messiah. That's the root of him. Isaiah 40, 10 goes on to say, and his reward is with him. 22, I come quickly and my reward is with me. 
40 10 says and the lord god comes with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him and it says and his reward is with him wow same verse same deal yahshua is the lord god who comes as a thief who comes quickly and is his reward is with him yahshua has an arm a messiah that shall rule for him the son of man Right, moving on, moving on. Let's go. Moving on. Here we go. All right. So we got Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, the Lord of Glory. Our Lord has a Messiah's son out of his wife in heaven, the church, with the crown upon her head. Yahshua is the head of the woman, the church, with the crown upon his head, the King of Saints. Revelation 11 15 says, The kings of this world. Become the kings of our Lord and of his Messiah. The king of this world become that of our Lord and of his Messiah. Who is our Lord? Every verse in the New Testament. Yahshua is our Lord. Let's go back. Seven verses. Revelation 11 8 says, Our Lord was crucified. Yahshua is our Lord. Says they crucified the Lord of glory. Yahshua is our Lord. The Lord of glory. Yahshua, our Lord, has a Messiah. Yahshua, the Lord of spirits, our Lord, the Lord of glory, who was crucified, has a Messiah, an arm that shall rule for him. Who is Yahshua's Number six, Messiah? Elijah, the His son of man. Arm that who shall is the son of man? Yahshua's arm that shall rule for him. Elijah the son of man. Isaiah 51. Who is the son of man? The arm of the Lord arm that shall rule for him. Makes the coming highway for God's people to return back to Jerusalem with everlasting joy. 51.9, the arm of the Lord who dries the sea and makes the depths of the water a way for the redeemed to pass over the highway. And they shall return to Jerusalem with everlasting joy upon the head. Isaiah 35. Who makes the highway? Who is the arm of the Lord? Isaiah 40, verse 3 and 4 says, God's messenger makes straight in the desert a highway for our God. The messenger, Elijah, is the arm of the Lord. Yahshua's arm that shall rule for him. Elijah is the coming son of man. Yahshua's arm, his king. The Son of Man that shall rule for him. Our Lord Yahshua, little Goy, little spirits, has an anointed Messiah, the Son of Man Elijah. When Yahshua was on earth, the Lord of Spirits was on earth, he declared himself to be the Son of Man. And if he will receive it, Elijah is come. He said, when he was on the earth, if you will receive it, Elijah is come. And then he also told John, it becomes us. Yahshua and John to fulfill all righteousness. What? Who is righteousness? Psalms 85, 13 says, Righteousness goes before him and shall set us in the way of his steps. Malachi 3, 1 says, God's messenger goes before him and prepares his way, sets us in the way of his steps. Righteousness that goeth before him is Elijah. That sets us in the way of his steps, prepares the way. Yahshua told John, it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. Yahshua and John fulfilled Elijah, which 2,000 years ago, Yahshua said, is come. John was the messenger, prepared the way before Yahshua, and Yahshua was the Messiah died for the sins of the world the mashiach the messenger and the messiah they fulfilled elijah the son of man to come righteousness now moving on elijah is the messiah of isaiah 61 with the spirit of the lord god yahshua upon him it says the spirit of the lord god is upon him 
Yahshua is not this Messiah. Elijah is the Messiah of Isaiah 61 with the spirit of the Lord God, Yahshua, upon him. Yahshua, the Lord God, is not the fulfillment of Isaiah 61. Yahshua's son, Messiah, is the anointed with the spirit of Yahshua upon him. Isaiah 61, 3 goes on to say, Elijah comforts Jerusalem, bringing beauty for ashes. There was no warfare in ashes to Jerusalem in the days of Yahshua. Elijah is the Holy Spirit manifest, God in the third person, the Messiah who comforts Jerusalem, the comforter. Elijah also is the messenger of Isaiah 40 verse 1 who comfort, comforts Jerusalem from her destruction and warfare, receiving double judgment at the hand of God. Elijah is the fulfillment of Isaiah 61, of Isaiah 40. The Messiah, messenger, the scriptures, prophesy of Yahshua said to John, it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. Now, John prepared the way. Yahshua fulfilled half of his title as the Holy One, of the Holy Great One. There are two Messiahs prophesied of in scripture. Elijah is the promised second Messiah, son of man, to come. Birth from Yahshua's wife, the church. Elijah is righteousness before the Lord that prepares the way. Now, let's get to number seven. Psalm 72 says, Elijah receives his righteousness from God the Father. I'm about to show the Father. This is going to be good. God's judgment is given to his king Yahshua and his righteousness is the king's son, Yahshua's son, Elijah. Psalm 72, 1 says, says, Give the king thy judgment, God thy righteousness unto the king's son. Yahshua is God's king, given by God the Father, the spoken judgments of God and Elijah. Yahshua's son is given God's righteousness, the execution of God's judgments. In the book of Enoch, it says specifically, now watch this, who God the Father is. Now, From whom Elijah the son of man receives his, his righteousness. Because in the book of Enoch, it says who gives the son of man his righteousness. Now, Enoch 71, 14, watch this. The son of man is born unto righteousness, and righteousness abides over him. Yahshua, it says, also abides over him. So that's the point. So it's Yahshua too, but watch this. And the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not. So who is the one? that gives his righteousness to the Son of Man, the head of days. And who is that? Psalm 72, 1, God. Give the king thy judgments, O God. That's give Yahshua thy judgments and thy righteousness under the king's son. Father, the head of days is the father. In the book of Enoch, and it also says in the book of Daniel, it talks about the head of days. That goes with the Son of Man. The head of days is the Father. Now, where does it say what Yahshua is called? Let's just keep reading. The head of days, as we said at the very beginning, it said the name of the Son of Man was spoken in the presence, was spoken in uh, in the presence of the Lord of Spirits and before the head of days. Well, Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, we already know that the Father is the head of days. Now watch this. Elijah, the son of man, receives his righteousness from God the Father, head of days, and the head of days in the book of Enoch and the book of Daniel's got the Father. The Father is the head of days in the book of Enoch. And Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, is called the light of days. Enoch 63, 14 says, The Lord of Spirits shall abide upon them. Now, 50 verse 1 says, the light of days shall abide upon them. The Father is called the head of days. Enoch 71, 14. And Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits in the book of Enoch, isn't called the head of days. He's called the light of days. See, Yahshua created everything. 
and he even created the sun, which is the light of everything. Yahshua is even calling himself the bright and morning star in Revelation 24, 10. Yahshua not only is the creator of everything, he is the light of everything, the light of days. <laughs> the father, which is greater than, than Yahshua, he said, is the head of days. He's actually called not just the head, but a head of days. It talks about his head. He is the one that is, if you think of, if you, he's the head of days, so he's older than Yahshua. He's got, he's the head of days above everybody. And uh, it says in the book, uh, it says in Enoch that the head of days, he has raiment that is indescribable, but it also talks about Yahshua and it, and it, and it describes the raiment. So there's differences between the head of days and Yahshua. Um, so let's just keep going on. Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, is called the light of days and that shall abide upon him. Yahshua also is the sun, the bright morning star, and eternal life. Now watch this. It goes on and says, The righteous and elect shall be in the light of the sun and in the light of eternal life. Yahshua is the light of the sun, the bright morning star, and eternal life. 1 John 5 says, In the sun is life. So Yahshua is eternal life. Now, Enoch 48.3 shows all three the father the son and the son of man at that hour the son of man was named in the presence of the lord of spirits and his name before the head of days elijah surname the son of man was named in the presence of yahshua the lord of spirits and his name before the father the head of days, the son of man was surnamed Elijah, Isaiah 45, and his name, well, you know it now, Psalm 72, 1 says, the head of days, God the Father gives unto Yahshua the light of days, his judgments, and also his righteousness, executing judgment unto the son of man, Yahshua's son, so we got, I'm going to go fast here. We got Enoch 63 talks about Yahshua, the Lord of Spirits, speaking the judgment. And then, and then it ends with in 12 and 11 about the Son of Man executing the judgment. Yahshua speaks it. The Son of Man executes it upon the whole world. The sum, Enoch 69, 26 and 27 says the sum of judgment is given unto the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners to pass away. And be destroyed from the face of the earth. Yahshua speaks it. The Son of Man does it. Judgment and righteousness. And God's righteousness is given to the Son of Man. 71.14. 71 Psalms. The Son of Man is given the righteousness of the head of days. The Father. Now, we're going to get to the work of the Son of Man, Elijah. It says in Psalm 72, he redeems us from deceit and violence. What did Yahshua redeem the world from? Sin and death. He was a perfect sacrifice. Holy. Had no sin. The perfect Lamb of God redeems us. But what does the Son of Man, the King, Yahshua's Son, redeem the world from? Lies and violence. Oppression. All right, pay attention now. It says that before Yahshua, nobody shall utter an idle word, the Lord of Spirits. And it says before the Son of Man, nobody shall speak a lying word before him because righteousness is judged before him. So there's your difference between the father, Yahshua and his son, the Son of Man. Yahshua, nobody can utter a lie, an idle word. And before the Son of Man, nobody can even lie. You cannot utter a lying word before the Son of Man. He judges righteousness. He is righteousness. He was born in the righteousness, and righteousness abides upon him. He dwells under the wings of the Lord of Spirits, Yahshua. 
Yahshua's spirit is upon him, Isaiah 61. Let's go, let's go. Hidden. Let's just do it. Let's keep going. Hidden. Covered in the shadow of God's hand. Everybody knows Isaiah 49 says God's servant Israel is hidden in the shadow of his hand, in his quiver. Arrow goes forth as lightning. Says that Zechariah. It says God has hid me in the shadow of his hand. Well, it says in Enoch about the Son of Man, God chosen and has hidden him before the Lord of Spirits, before the creation of the world. And it says why. It goes on about that. The Son of Man is one who has been hidden. He is the Messiah of Isaiah 49 who has been hidden. Now, when you read Enoch, it talks about why he was hidden, that all would serve and worship, praise Yahshua, and be the stay of the righteous, that they will be able to serve Yahshua forever. Moving on. Isaiah 51. Says the arm of the Lord dries the sea, makes the depths. All right. It goes on. To, now, when you read, um, continuing with Isaiah 51, which we already did, it goes on to say in 16, God says about this arm of the Lord, Elijah, that he puts his words in his mouth. What did it say about the coming everlasting covenant? He puts his words in his mouth. And they shall be for they shall not, not depart out of his mouth, nor in the mouth of the sea, nor in the mouth of the sea, sea from henceforth and forever. Elijah and his seed and his seed seed is the coming everlasting priesthood, the coming everlasting covenant to God's people. And it says about this arm, God puts his he has put his words in his mouth. Why? Why? And it also, okay, so it says that may he lay the foundations of where to do it. But anyways, it goes on to say about this arm, Elijah, he's also not only put his words in his mouth, but he's covered him, his arm, in the shadow of his hand. Same thing as Isaiah 49, in his shadow of his hand, has he hid me? Isaiah 51 says he has covered his arm, Isaiah 51, in the shadow of his hand. Elijah is the arm that makes the highway who is been hidden has been hidden in the shadow of god's hands god makes his everlasting covenant through elijah the promised everlasting priesthood to god's people isaiah 59 21 the one elijah is the one god put his words in his mouth isaiah 51 16 does that let's move on man let's just keep going we got a lot more I'm gonna skip this. I this this is uh verse three of his servant Israel, which is who's hidden. It's uh I, Jeremiah 51 says his rod, rods are kings, the rod over his inheritance, where God inherits his people, and his battle axe. Well, who is God's king over his people? Well, that's David, Zechariah 37, his king and shepherd, also called Cyrus, king and shepherd. Israel is God's rod over his people well that's david cyrus elijah will be the king over god's people israel is god's servant david is whom god raises up in the latter days hosea chapter 3 in the latter days is now not two thousand years ago and he's also the one who's been hidden now moving on let's keep going the light of the gentiles enoch says this son of man will be the light of the Gentiles. Isaiah 49, everybody knows, says, God shall give him. So he's going to be given for a covenant, die as well, the coming everlasting covenant. Yahshua died for the new, a new covenant, but I, I skipped that part, but I'll go back. Um, let's just go right here. I skipped this right here. It says, uh, but the new covenant was not what the messianic scriptures prophesied of in Isaiah 49, 42 specifically becomes another covenant, an everlasting covenant through the son of Yahshua and prophesied Elijah to come. Okay. And it says in Ezekiel 37, in this coming everlasting covenant of peace, they will be living forever in the everlasting possession and doing the statutes and judgments. They all start with doing the sacrifices again. 
Ezekiel 45 says, it's not happening right now. There comes another covenant. And these are what, this covenant is what the scriptures prophesied of in Isaiah 49 and 42. Not the new covenant. There comes another covenant. Moving on. Let's just keep going. I, I went back just to show you real fast. Um, so we got, um, we have Ezekiel 48 says, the son of man, he's a light. Isaiah 49, 6 says, he is a light of the Gentiles. God gives him for that. Um, number five, the arm. And it also says in 49, 6, Isaiah 49, 6, that, that he, he gives him for a light of Gentiles that he may be my salvation in the, under the end of the earth. Now watch this. We already know God's arm is the one, is the Messiah. Elijah of 51, 49, 42, 59, 21. All right, watch this. God says in 49, Isaiah 49, that he may be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Yash, God says his arm shall bring salvation to him. God's own arm will bring salvation. God's arm is the salvation of Isaiah 49, the arm of the Lord. Elijah, who makes the highway, is God's Messiah of Isaiah 49, who God's salvation, his God, who's got salvation in the word. Now, let's just keep going. Now, in this work, this is all like numbers of six, five, four of the the work. Okay. This is what the work, this is what the Son of Man Elijah will do. He's gonna redeem. You know, I have a lot of scriptures about that in my old videos, how he redeems the branch brings the judgment and the righteousness. Jeremiah 30, 15, right, Je Jerusalem is redeemed with righteousness and judgment. Isaiah 1, 27, well, who was God's redeemer? The mighty one, Isaiah 16. God, God's redeemer redeems with righteousness and judgment with a branch, the mighty one, Elijah. There's a whole, I, could, I can go a whole lot more on all these, but what I'm going to do is kind of hit the hit the big ones. Now well, I've got one, two hidden. We got three. I'm skipping that real fast. Four the lights. We got the light given for our light to be salvation. Well, that's the arm again. Now watch this. So in the book of Enoch, it says that when the elect one in 52 shall appear. Before the face of the Lord of Spirits. Well, who is the one, the Son of Man? It's also called the elect one, the righteous one. Who is the elect one, the righteous one, Son of Man, that appears before the Lord of Spirits? Who's the one that goes before Yahshua? Well, that's Elijah, Malachi 3 1. And it says he has an appearing. Malachi 3 2 says, Who shall stand in the day of his appearing? That is Elijah. Nobody will be able to stand. It says the tin, the gold, the iron, the war, somebody destroyed from the earth. They will never use it anymore. Well, they, they won't. It says the gold and the silver. No, it doesn't say that, but it says specifically the tin and the iron, bronze, um, other there's other ones. They shall be destroyed. Violence shall be destroyed from the earth by God's king. Isaiah one, Zechariah nine nine says when the when the Son of Man appears before the face of the Lord of Spirits. All right, so this just got to keep going here. There's so much I wrote down. God's messenger, Elijah, is a prophesied to go before the Lord of Spirits and have an appearance. So what I'm showing you is that he is hidden, so he has an appearing. That makes sense. And also he has his appearing, Enoch 52, before the face of the Lord of Spirits. Well, who goes before the face of the Lord? Yahshua. Elijah, it's obvious, the Son of Man who is hidden and has an appearing and goes and, and appears when he appears before the face of the Lord of Spirits, this uh, war shall be destroyed from the earth. Zechariah 9 9 shows you when this and then it goes on. You got to skip on, man. All right, so uh, Malachi 3 1, Genesis 49. I'm going to skip this now. I'm going to go on. To, I'm going to go hit Isaiah again because it talks a lot. And Enoch 48, it matches with Isaiah 49. So I'm going to hit that again. It says, 
he restores the preserved of Israel. God's Messiah of Isaiah 49 raises up Jacob, the Jews that have been blinded for 2,000 years, Micah 5, and restores the preserved. Okay, so this man in Isaiah 49, it says, restores the preserved of Israel. What did Yahshua say? Skipping down here a little bit, right here. What did Yahshua say? Would come first and restore all things, Elijah. There is nobody else. Isaiah 49 can be but Elijah. Yahshua asked the Jews 2,000 years ago, why don't you believe Moses who spoke of me? I asked the church people now, why don't you believe Yahshua who spoke of me? Elijah restores all things, Yahshua said. So in Isaiah 49, who is the restorer of the people that died and are preserved of Israel? It's Elijah. Elijah does this. Now watch this. Ezekiel 37 talks about the breath upon their bones that shall make them live. Enoch says that the son of, not the Lord of spirits and not the head of days, the father, but the son of man shall save those that have died and shall bring them back to life it says the elect one the son of man sheol uh, enoch 51 1 shall give back that which it owes on the day of the elect one the son of man and the elect one shall choose the righteous and holy from among them for the day has come that she should be saved there you go it says the son of man elijah is the one that will save those that are in him and what does it say in Isaiah 49? He restores the preserved of Israel, which it says in Ezekiel 37. He does it with by breathing on their bones. Elijah, out of his mouth, breathes life. And in Isaiah 4, 11, 1, the branch, he also breathes death. Slays the wicked with the breath of his mouth. He has the key of David. Now. Let's just keep going on, man. We got to keep going on and on. Enoch verse, in him dwells the spirit of those who have fallen asleep. I didn't write the verse down, but it says in Enoch, in him dwells the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness because he's the one that saves them. The Messiah of Isaiah 49, the son of man, Enoch 51, is the restorer of God's people Israel who have died. Yahshua said it's Elijah. Do you believe Yahshua? He spoke of me. Elijah, the Messiah of Isaiah 49, who restores Israel, also is the mighty one of Isaiah 1, who restores Jerusalem. The mighty one who restores, who destroys violence out of the earth is also Jerusalem's redeemer. Elijah is the restorer of all things. He's God. He's Jerusalem's redeemer. How is Jerusalem redeemed? I've already told you that. Isaiah 127, Jeremiah 33, 15. And who righteous the judgment? Who brings that? The branch does. Elijah is the branch. Yahshua never ever said he was the branch. He said he is the root of David. There comes out of the stem of Jesse. The stem of Jesse is David. Isaiah 11, 1. There comes a rod, a king out of David. Yahshua is the root of David, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Who is the root? Yahshua is the root. It says, out of a branch shall grow out of his roots. Who is the root? Yahshua is the root, and a branch shall grow out of... Who is it talking about? Yahshua said he is the root. A branch shall grow out of Yahshua's root. A branch. Elijah is the branch. The mighty one. Cyrus, Isaiah 45, 1, the anointed, God's anointed. There is a second anointed, his shepherd, Isaiah 45, 27, 28. David, God's king and shepherd. That's who Israel is in Isaiah 49. God's servant, Israel. God's rod over his inheritance, Jeremiah 51. Moving on, let's watch it keep going now. So we got, we got Elijah. 
is the one who restores Jerusalem to a city of righteousness, Isaiah 1. How is Jerusalem? Okay, let's move on here. Elijah is a mighty one. Seth, God's king of shepherd. Um, Zechariah 6 says the branch builds the temple and bears the glory. Um, also, Cyrus is the one who speaks to the city and the temple. He's the one that speaks the building, gives the command. Okay, and in the book of Daniel, it says, uh, where is it at? It says in the book of Daniel, here you go, right here. And it says in the book of Daniel that there, should, there will be a command to restore and build Jerusalem to the Messiah, the prince. That's Elijah. And the command is given by Elijah. And, it, and it, how will Jerusalem be built? It will be built in restoration. Who restores all things? Elijah. He's the one that builds Jerusalem. Isaiah 45, 13. Cyrus builds God's city. Isaiah 45, 28, 27. He'll speak to the city and the temple. Be built. The branch builds the temple. Elijah is the branch. The mighty one. I've covered all this in all my old videos, so I'm going to try to go past this. This is I'm trying to go past this, but I'm hitting on Daniel 9 a little bit. All right, so let's go. Uh, number 8 says, Spirit of righteousness shall be poured out upon the elect one. Okay, and the word, this is in Enoch 62, 2. It says, the word of his mouth slays all sinners. Well, what did Isaiah 11 say? It says, the branch whose mouth slays the wicked. And there you go, Isaiah 11. There's a come a rod, a king out of the stem of Jesse, which is David. Yahshua is the rod king that comes out of David, the root of David. And it says a branch shall come out of his roots. And Elijah is the branch. Jeremiah 20. Okay, so moving on to number nine. It says in Jeremiah 23, the branch is called the Lord our righteousness. Well, what's Elijah? Righteousness. And God gives his, the father, the head of days, gives his righteousness to the king's son. Elijah will be called the Lord, our righteousness. Elijah will also die like Yahshua died. Elijah will die for the coming everlasting covenant and everlasting priesthood. Yahshua died for spiritual redemption. Elijah will die for physical redemption. To have a new spiritual, physical, everlasting covenant of peace. Okay, so um, Elijah is the branch in the last days, executes judgment and justice. Elijah. Okay, so we went all the way to Jeremiah. We didn't start Enoch. It says, uh, so in Jeremiah 23, it says the branch executes judgment and justice upon the whole world. Enoch 46 says the son of man brings down the mighty and the kings and the sinners are destroyed before the face of the Lord, banished off the earth. Um, the son of man is who brings judgment upon the whole world, destroys the sinners off the earth. It says that in um, Enoch 62 verse 2, the son of man is the one, is the branch who brings judgment upon the whole world. Just like Jeremiah 23 says, the branch does so. Elijah is this branch. Moving on. Number 10. In verse 5, it says they shall all fall down before him. That's number uh, 48, I believe. Or is it 46? Uh, yeah, 48 right here. Enoch 48, 5. It says they fall down before him. And they will praise the Lord of Spirits. They don't fall down and praise the Son of Man. They says in verse 5, they fall down before him and praise the Lord of Spirits. And this is why he was chosen and hidden to be a stay of the righteous and that they will all worship Yahshua. All right, let's just keep going on here. 13 says in Isaiah 41, 13, I think it goes on to say that, uh, uh, somewhere in Isaiah and Isaiah it says that he reveals uh, says that Enoch he reveals all the treasures of that which is hidden Enoch 46 
verse 3 and Isaiah 45 3 he says he uh his God gives him all the hidden tre hidden uh the, the, the secret the tre the treasures of darkness the treasures of darkness the hidden things and um so uh, Cyrus builds the temple he is this man son of man who reveals all the treasures of that which is hidden it says he reveals the secrets of righteousness uh all the secrets of wisdom and counsel it says with the son of man will be their heritage of faith in um, enoch 71. so it says with him will be their heritage of faith will heritage of faith is the secrets of righteousness which shall be taught by elijah the son of man and it says that he will be as he will be given the preeminence before Yahshua, Lord of Spirits, forever. A light of uprightness before Yahshua forever. The moon becomes as the sun. The Bible says in Isaiah 60, the sun and the moon become one. And the moon will also become as the sun, seven times greater as the sun. And the sun also becomes seven times greater, but the moon will become as the sun. But anyways, Enoch 50 says, Pour forth, he pours forth, there you go. All the secrets of wisdom and counsel, Enoch 50, with him is their heritage, the secrets of righteousness, which become bright. It says that it becomes bright as the sun on earth. That's Elijah, the moon, and everlasting light is dwelling. Okay, so now number 11, his dwelling place is under the Lord of Spirits. Yahshua flies upon the wings of the wind. I'm not going to get into all this. It says about the wind and the Holy Spirit being one and... He blows upon them they shall wither he is a person it's the holy spirit manifest anyways that's elijah the holy spirit manifests the comforter god possesses heart in the womb that's why he has righteousness he's born unto it and uh so uh number 12 the branch says in zechariah 3 judges the house of god given a charge by god and it says also that the in the book of Enoch the son of man the elect one the righteous one judges the house of God and he also judges the angels and so okay so number 13 I was it talks about Enoch 81 about the king of glory well the king of glory is Elijah Psalms 24 the mighty and one who is mighty and strong in battle um, and it talks about that and um, God lodges forth his word, and that's the word of the Son of Man.